In this video, we're going to look at the concept of Mu and equations for chemistry. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you guys that you will be able to deal with problems involving Mu and equations for chemistry. So, ensure you stay at the very end of this video. All right, this is also an important aspect of chemistry. Okay, so let's go into the details of the video. All right, so we're looking at the Mu and equations. This is Q okay now note that you can use moles to calculate masses in reactions okay note that now for instance let me show you how you can know your number of moles in a chemical equation all right so in this chemical equation we have magnesium atom we have sweet hydrochloric acid to give magnesium chloride all right plus hydrogen gas okay now if we check this, this chemical equation is balanced. We have one atom of magnesium at the left. We have one atom of magnesium at the right. We have two atoms of hydrogen at the left. We have two atoms of hydrogen at the left. We also have two atoms of chlorine at the left. We have two atoms of chlorine at the right. So the chemical equation is balanced. Now here, to know your mole numbers, the number behind the elements or compound is known as the mole number. For instance, this two is behind this compound hydrochloric acid. This is the mole number. All right, here the mole number is one. Here the mole number is one. Here the mole number is also what one. So you can see that the mole ratio is one is to two is to one is to what one. All right, so we have one is to two is to one is to what one. So this is how you can decode the number of moles in a compound or element so having known that let's proceed let's look at how you can balance equations using reacting masses now this is very important let me bring a typical question we will use to explain this all right and we'll proceed from there let's write this and look at the typical question okay then look at this question remember that we're looking at how to balance equations chemical equations using reacting masses Okay, this question says 8.1 gram of zinc oxide reacts completely with 0 0.60 gram of carbon to form 2.2 gram of carbon dioxide and 6.5 gram of zinc. Write a balanced simple equation for this reaction. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to bring out the elements or compounds involved. So, in this question, we have zinc oxide. So, we have zinc oxide. All right, we are sweet carbon to form carbon dioxide. Okay, and zinc. All right, now the next thing you have to do is to calculate their relative formula mass. Okay, now note that in this question, look at the relative atomic mass of the element so we have let atomic mass let me write it here All right but you have to know it okay but usually is given we have that of carbon to be 12 All right we have that of oxygen to be 16 okay we have that of which other element we have zinc to be 65 Okay, so we can use this information now to get our relative formula mass. So for zinc is to add the relative atomic mass of the atoms. So zinc is going to give us 65 plus oxygen 16. Okay, now for carbon, carbon is 12. One atom carbon here. So for carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide, we have 12 plus 16 times 2. So for zinc is just 65. So when you simplify this, you are going to have so 65 plus 16 is going to give us 81. All right, this one is still be 12. This one is 16 times 2, that's 32. 32 plus 12 is going to give us 44. This one is to be worth 65. Follow me, guys. Okay, so making progress now. 
The next thing you're going to do will be remember, we want to balance this equation you're using reactive masses. Now, the next thing you're going to do will be to get the move ratio. All right, because basically what we're looking at here is to get the move ratio. So, the move ratio will help us to balance this chemical equation here. All right, so for the move ratio, all you have to do is to divide the reacting mass with the relative formula mass of the elements and compound we have in this reaction so for this zinc oxide compound it's going to be we have the mass of zinc oxide to be 8.1 to give us 8.1 over so the relative formula mass we have it to be 81 then this one will be the mass of carbon here is 0 0.6 0 over 12. That of carbon dioxide, we have it to be 2.2 over 44. That of zinc, we have it to be 6.5 over 65. All right, so let me break this down with my calculator. So when you punch my calculator, 8.1 divided by 81 is going to give you 0 0.1. So let's write. 0.1 okay now i can choose to add another zero to it but it's still 0 0.1 all right now 0 0.6 0 divided by 12 let me punch it okay so this one will give me 0 0.05 okay now this one will be let me write the five where there are 0 0.05 all right, so this one gives us 2.2 divided by 44. Let me punch it. Okay, so this one will still give us 0 0.05. All right, now for zinc, 6.5 divided by 65. We're going to have it to be 0 0.1. This one is to give us 0 0.1. Let me adjust it. So, we still have 0 0.1 here. That should add 0. Okay, now that we have these respective mole ratios, so we don't have to leave it in decimal value or in point like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do in order not to leave it in decimal value or in points like this is to divide through by the least mole ratio. All right, so the least mole ratio here is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is less than 0 0.1 all right so divide through by 0 0.05 okay 0 0.05 0 0.05 and also 0 0.05 all right so when you punch on your calculator 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05 will give you two all right, this will give us one. This will give us what? One. This will also give us what? Two. You now have the more ratio to be two is to one. Two is to one is to one is to what? Two. Okay, so that means what we're going to have here, the, we asked to write a balanced symbol equation for this reaction. So we have um, two moles of zinc. Let me write it two where? So we have two moles of zinc oxide reacted with one mole of carbon all right to so give one mole of carbon dioxide and two more let me write it to where to give us two moles of zinc atom so this will be the balanced chemical equation for this reaction all right remember we use reacting masses to balance this chemical equation this is what we have to know about mole and equations it's as simple as that guys now let me give you a practice chemistry question on this before you call it a class very, very interesting let's wipe this you just follow this procedure and you get your results so let's wipe this and look at the practice chemistry question okay guys now let's look at this question it says 84 gram of nitrogen gas reacts completely with 18 gram of hydrogen gas to produce 102 gram of ammonia we have to calculate how many moles of each substance reacted or was produced. Okay, 
and b part of it says use your answer to part a to write a balance symbol equation for this reaction now take this we are giving the relative atomic mass of the elements to be okay that's of nitrogen we have it to be 14 that's of hydrogen we have it to be one okay so feel free to pause this video and see if you can figure this out using the procedure we used in the previous example okay let's do it together all right remember we're going to use the reacting masses to balance this chemical equation all right so firstly we have the question says nitrogen gas reacted with hydrogen gas to give ammonia okay now let's get the relative formula mass of the elements and compounds respectively so that of nitrogen gas will be since the relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 so it's going to give us 14 times 2 all right this one give us 2 times 1 this one give us 14 plus 3 times 1 so when you break this down this is going to give us 28 this will give us 2 this will give us now 14 plus 3 give us what 17 okay now for the more ratio all right this is t what we are going to do now will be to divide the mass of each element and compound with the relative formula mass so for the nitrogen gas here it's going to give us the mass is we have it to be 84 divided by 28 so this will give us the mass of hydrogen gas here is 18 divided by 2 this will give us the mass of this one is 102 divided by 17. so when we break this down it's going to give us 84 divided by 28 will give us 3. this one give us 18 divided by 2 give us 9. all right 102 divided by 17 will give us 6. okay now that we have this we are going to divide 3 by the least small ratio so the least small ratio here is what 3 all right divide by three okay so this we cancel this we have one this we cancel this we have three this we cancel this we have two so the more we should we have it to be one is two three is towards two so that would be the least more ratio okay so this tells us now that the balanced chemical equation will be the more of this nitrogen gas is one the number of moles of this hydrogen gas here is what three and that of the ammonia is what two so the equation is now balanced we have two atoms of nitrogen at the left we have two atoms of nitrogen at the right we have three okay, we have six atoms of nitrogen at the left and we also have well, six atoms of nitrogen at the right because these two here is multiplying this three for hydrogen so we have six atoms of hydrogen at the left and also six atoms of hydrogen at the right so this equation is well balanced so that's all you have to do for this question so for the a part of this question that says calculate how many moles of each substance reacted that was produced so for the mole of nitrogen gas we have it to be one the mole of hydrogen gas we have it to be three and the mole of ammonia we have it to be two so that's what we're going to write then for the balanced chemical equation this is what we're going to present okay so that is for this quiz i hope you did something interesting from this video let's call it a class yeah now if you are new to the channel sure you check the description of this video below or link to our telegram channel click on it and join the telegram channel for instant notifications also ensure that you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding this topic feel free to leave your place in the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response now click on the end screen above and i will see you in this video thanks for watching